Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that is similar to one of the problems that we got from Indian Mass Olympiad. In this problem, we have absolute value of x times absolute value of x minus 1 plus absolute value of 2x minus 4 and this equation should be equal to 8. We want to solve this equation for all possible integer values for x. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve problems that are dealing with absolute value of x, you need to first find where this absolute value is going to change its sign. Here we have three expressions that are dealing with absolute values. We have absolute value of x, we have absolute value of x minus 1, and we have absolute value of 2x minus 4. For each expression, we need to understand when the absolute value of that expression is going to be the expression itself, and when the absolute value of the expression is going to be negative of that expression. To do that, we need to find the roots of each expression. For x, we have 0 for the root. For x minus 1, the root is going to be at x is equal to 1. And for 2x minus 4, the root is going to be at x is equal to 2. Based on the root values that we have for these expressions, we are going to divide the integer numbers into four parts. The four parts that we have are going to be x less than 0, x between 0 and 1, x between 1 and 2, and finally x greater than 2. So we have four regions, and for each region we are going to determine what value we are going to have for each absolute value. Absolute value of x is going to be negative x for region 1 and positive x for other regions. On the other hand, for x minus 1, it's going to be negative x plus 1 for the first two regions and it's going to be x minus 1 for the second two regions. For 2x minus 4, we are going to have minus 2x plus 4 for the absolute value of 2x minus 4 in the first three regions and then 2x minus 4 for the last region. By now we know what we are going to have for each expression and for each region. Now we are going to simplify it. As just one example, when x is less than 0, then absolute value of x is going to be negative x, absolute value of x minus 1 is going to be negative x plus 1, and absolute value of 2x minus 4 is going to be minus 2x plus 4. If we replace these values, then at the end we have minus x times minus x plus 1 minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 8. If we do the same approach for other cases, then we have four equations for the four regions that we have. Let's simplify each equation again and then for each region we are going to have one simple equation which is a quadratic equation and we need to solve it. If we solve each equation, then we will have some answers. First of all, we need to remove the answers that are not going to be integer because we only care about integer values in this problem. When x is less than 0, then the expression that we have is x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. If we solve this, there are two possible cases for x. x can be 4 or x can be negative 1. Remember, the original condition that we started with was x is a negative number and now we are finding two values for x. x is equal to 4 is not a negative number so we don't accept that. The only x values that can be acceptable for this region is x is equal to negative 1. For the third region we cannot find any x values in that region. For the last region we found two possible choices. 3 or negative 4. Negative 4 is not acceptable again and the only answer that we can accept is 3. So overall we have two choices for x. x can be 3 or minus 1 
and these are our answers. To wrap up, let's summarize what you've done to solve this problem. We first started with understanding the root values that we have for each expression. Based on the root values that we got, we divided the whole integer numbers into multiple regions. And then for each region, we removed the absolute sign by using the expression itself or negative of that expression. We simplified the final expression and we solved the values that we could have for x in that region. At the end, we verified that the x values that we found are correct. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.